Hey y'all, thanks for watching my channel. So today we're going to be talking about unidentified persons that are in the NamUs system. So I will link the case below and give you details regarding the person and hopefully we can connect these people with whom they belong to. Our first identified person comes out of Pikeville, Tennessee. It is that of a male Hispanic, uh, presumed to be about 50 years old. He has short black hair and a mustache and beard and was found at 5190 Summer City Road in Pikeville, Tennessee, and that is in Bell Soul County, Tennessee. He has multiple tattoos, um, possible Lorena on the right anterior forearm, possible cross on the upper forearm right, possible Rayan on the left anterior forearm, and illegible artwork on the upper left forearm. He was wearing black tennis shoes with red laces, a blue t-shirt, brown pants, tan belt, and black undershorts. Dental inter information is available on this individual. Um, I do not see any type of DNA that's available. Fingerprints are available also, so if you guys happen to know who this is, the NamUs profile is in the link below. The next unidentified person are the skeletal remains of a male believed to be around the age of 20 to 30 years old. It was found on August the 3rd, 2017. The post-mortem years are believed to be between 2012 to 2017. 16. The estimated height is 5'9". The skeletal remains were found in Appalachia Junction, Arizona, near the Superstation Wilderness, not far from the hiking area. There were vertebral defects attributed to stress that was found in the spine. The person was wearing the following clothing. Pieces of blue denim pants or shorts. A waistband of a men's underwear was found, along with pieces of a t-shirt, possibly a, with a red and white pattern. And as you can see, there looks to be like a hoodie also. Now there is DNA available for this case, as well as dental records that are currently being processed. If you have any information or think you know who this person is, Please look at the NamUs profile below for the contact information of the agency. The next unclaimed person is that of a female found on July the 24th, 2017 in Detroit, Michigan. The remains were found at 4866 Anderton Street in the garage of the house. She is believed to be 40 to 99 years old. Height and weight also cannot be determined due to the mummification of the body. The probable death year is 2017, with the post-mortem interval being only days. Hair color cannot be determined due to the person being completely bald. However, there was a wig found next to the body. Clothing includes a multicolored horizontal brown to beige colored long sleeve sweater or blouse. Jewelry includes a burgundy cloth loosely braided to a half inch wide stripe. It is a choker with black, brass colored clamps. Fingerprints are unavailable. However, DNA and dental records are currently being processed and added to the NamUs system. If you think you know this person or have any information on the case, please contact the contact information in the name is profile linked below. The next unclaimed person is that of an adult male found on July the 19th, 2017 in Multoma County, Oregon. The remains were found partially clothed and washed ashore on a beach. It is that of an adult male ranging in age from 30 to 50 years old. 
The estimated height and weight is 170 pounds and 5'8 tall. The victim was wearing blue boxer briefs worn under a pair of Kathy Ireland women's style brief underwear and had one right wool sock on. Footwear includes one right cowboy boot style boot, size 11D. DNA is available as well as dental information, but it's currently being processed. If you think you know who this person is, please click on the NamUs profile linked below. The next unidentified person was found on July the 25th of 2017 in Lehigh Acres, Florida. The sex cannot be determined nor the height and weight due to the near skeletal remains. The age can neither be determined and is believed to be that of either a 10 year old to 99 year old. The probable death year is 2015. The estimated postmortem interval is two years. Clothing found with the body include denim pants with the tag lot 29 of an unknown size, as well as a white tank top by mainstays of an unknown size, right and left converse size 11 sneakers, fragments of a cloth belt with a fragment of a rusted belt buckle, jewelry included a stainless steel skull ring, other items found with the remains include a black Sharpie marker, a light blue big lighter, Ford vehicle fob, and an FX411 folding knife. DNA is not currently available, nor fingerprints. However, there are dental records that are currently being processed in the system. If you have any information or think you know who this person is, please contact the contact information in the NamUs profile linked below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you're at, and I will catch you on my next video.